the MBF Safety Squad, and we're here to teach you the five safety rules to help you stay safe. I'm safety rule number one, know what's up. Knowing what's up means you know things that can help you with your safety. Things like your personal information and your parent or guardian's personal information, like your address and your parent's phone number. What is safe versus unsafe? What the safety rules are at home, school, and other places you go. And what to do in an emergency, like calling 911. When you know what's up, you can then use the other safety rules to help you stay safe. I'm safety rule number two, spot red flags. Spotting red flags means being aware of places and people around you that may not be safe, both online and off. It's really important that you know how to spot red flags because they are warning signs that tell you that a situation or person is unsafe. One way to think of it is like a big red stop sign at a street corner or a red traffic light. Both of these things mean do not go. Well, red flags are the same way. They are warning signs that let you know that you, or someone you know, might not be safe. Some examples of red flags or warning signs are someone saying mean or hurtful words, someone using hurtful touches, someone bullying another person, someone trying to trick you or asking you to keep secrets. Knowing how to spot red flags will help you know when to use the other safety rules. I'm safety rule number three, make a move. After you spot red flags and know that a situation might not be safe, that's when you can use safety rule number three to make a move. To make a move means there are moves you can make that can help keep you safe. So, if you find yourself in an unsafe situation, or if you are around an unsafe person and you are able to, you can make a move to get away and find a safe adult. Or if you know a situation or a person is not safe, you can try to stay away from that situation or person to help you stay safe. Making a move also means helping a friend out of an unsafe situation if you can. However, if you are in a situation where you cannot make a move, you can use our other safety rules to help you stay safe. I'm safety rule number four, talk it up. Talking it up means that you have a voice and you can use it to help keep you safe. When adults or other children do hurtful things, it can be hard to understand. Sometimes you may not know if something that is being done is wrong or if it is okay to say no. You may not know who to talk to. This is when you need safety rule number four, talk it up. Here are three ways you could talk it up. One, you can use a strong voice to say no in unsafe situations, for example, if someone is hurting you. Two, you can use your voice to tell a person to stop hurting someone else. Three, you can always talk to a safe adult. Talking it up to a safe adult can help you feel safe even if something happened a long time ago and you never told anyone. Remember, it's never too late to talk it up. I'm safety rule number five, no blame, no shame. If you are ever hurt, always remember safety rule number five because it is never your fault, no matter what happens, no matter when, where, how, or who hurts you. It is never your fault, and it is never too late to tell a safe adult. Even if the person who hurts you tells you to keep it a secret, or that you did something wrong, or that you will get in trouble if you tell, you should still tell. None of those things are true. You are never to blame, and you should not be ashamed to tell a safe adult. Now that you know all five safety rules, let's practice the movements to help you remember each one. Rule number one, know what's up. Rule number two, spot red flags. Rule number three, make a move. Rule number four, talk it up. Rule number five, no blame, no shame. Remember, the MBF5 safety rules will help keep you safe, and you deserve to be safe. 